Start off with a rough outline of the particular mask you want to create. Have a makeup remover cloth handy in case you make a mistake or want to alter any of your lines. Be sure the two sides match or are at least closely related. Now apply your eyeshadow primer to your lids. This is a super important step to prevent your mask from creasing and looking creasy as the evening progresses. Now outline where you want the eyeshadow to go on later. I'm also lining the bottom lash line as I will be applying the shadow below to make my eyes appear bigger. Now roughly fill in the mask. It doesn't have to be precise at this point. You just want to create a base. Note, you can use a glue stick and concealer to tame your brows, especially if you are choosing a color that's different from your natural brows. Another quick tip, if you're using a pencil like me, keep a sharpener nearby. You will be needing it frequently. Now using your finger, gently blend out the eyeliner. Now with a black cream face paint or black paint stick like I'm using, fill the same area in. If you made any stray marks while coloring, use your makeup remover cloth to clean it up and get a sharp line around your mask. Now apply your white glitter eyeshadow to the entire lid that you outlined previously. Really pack that baby in. This is one of those occasions where it's totally allowed. Line your top line with black eyeliner and your bottom with a white eyeliner to give your eyes a bigger effect. To really accentuate my lids, I'm going to go over the line I created earlier with a black liquid liner. Now set your black face paint with a matte black eyeshadow. This will darken the look and help to create the illusion of a mask. Now using a white eyeliner, silver eyeliner, or a paintbrush and white cream face paint, begin creating your design on your mask. I wanted to create whimsical lines and curves. Take your time with this part. It won't look like much at this point, but the more details you create, the better the final product. My mask was inspired by a swan, and these lines are supposed to represent her feathers.
Now I'm going to create the handle of my mask. Apply your concealer and foundation on your forehead as needed if you are going to continue with this step. And creating a gem in the center of my design and feathering the same type of lines I created before from there. Feel free to pick up rhinestones and add them to your look with a bit of lash adhesive. If you're a really good artist, you can totally freehand this part. If not, I would suggest mapping this out on a piece of paper before trying. Now using an angled eyeliner brush, I'm going to set the liner again with this matte black shadow. Now finish applying your foundation to the area underneath the mask. To get a really sharp, clean edge for my lip color, I'm going to conceal the area around my mouth to get rid of all of the dark shadows. Now with a dark red lipstick and my lip brush, I'm going to line my lips creating sharp angles on the cupid's bow and at the edge of my lip. Now fill in the rest of the lips. Be careful not to disrupt the line you created earlier. Now apply light blush to the cheeks, carefully avoiding the mask and blending up into the hairline. To finish it off, I'm using the same black liquid eyeliner from before and emphasizing the winged line. Use short strokes at first and then connect them. Now curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. To make my lips pop even more, I'm applying a berry color lipstick over top of the dark red color from earlier. Apply a gloss to finish off your lips. I paired off this mask with some black glitter pumps that match my mask and a cute knit zippered black dress with a cowl neck. The zippers down the sides actually open up to pockets, which every girl knows you need at the club. I hate having to keep track of my purse all night. I feel like I'm clunking people in the head and it restricts my dancing. So I love this dress. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. Please show me your recreations at the links below on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Subscribe for more and check out these other awesome videos I created for you. Ciao, Bellas!